Hello and welcome Digitech Dynamo. In this video, we're going to create a simple yet useful project to measure angles using the MPU 6050 sensor with an Arduino. We'll display the angle readings in real time on a 16x2 LCD. This project is great for learning how to work with sensors and displaying real time data on an LCD screen. Let's jump right in. For this project, you'll need an Arduino. I'm using the Arduino Uno, the MPU 6050 sensor, which includes an accelerometer and a gyroscope, a 16x2 LCD with an I2C module to simplify the wiring, jumper wires for connections, and optionally, a breadboard to organize everything. Here's how we'll connect the components. The MPU 6050 sensor connects to the Arduino as follows, VCC to 5 volt, GND to GND, SCL to A5, SDA to A4. The 16x2 I2C LCD will also connect to the same SCL, A5, and SDA A4 lines for I2C communication, making it simple to wire up. Now let's talk about the code that runs this project. I've written a simple Arduino sketch that handles everything from sensor initialization to real-time angle calculation and display on the LCD. LCD and sensor initialization. First, we import the necessary libraries, wire.h for I2C communication, liquidcrystalI2C.h for controlling the N, and MPU6050.h for interacting with the sensor. In the setup function, we initialize the LCD and display some startup messages like Digitech Dynamo and Protector. Then we initialize the MPU6050 sensor and check if it's connected properly. LCD.init, MPU.initialize, angle calculation. That's it. The code will now continuously measure the angle and display it on the LCD in real time. Here's the project in action. As I tilt the sensor in different directions, you can see the angle being calculated and displayed on the LCD. The angle updates smoothly every half second, thanks to the MPU6050 sensor. And there you have it, a fully working angle measurement system using an MPU6050 sensor, Arduino, and a 16x2 LCD. This simple project is a great way to learn more about sensors, I2C communication, and real-time data display. It could be a useful building block for future projects like motion detection, robot control, or even gaming controllers. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to like, share, and subscribe to Digitech Dynamo for more exciting project and tutorials. Thank you for watching.